Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 10n squared minus 35 equals 65m, and we need to solve this by factoring. Well, first thing is I'm going to bring the 65n over to the left-hand side by adding it. So we have 10n squared plus a 65n minus 35 equals 0. Now, don't let these larger numbers scare you. Let's see if we can break this down. Each part here, I see a 5 goes into it. So if I pull out a 5, I'm left with a 2n squared minus a 13n minus a 7, and that's equal to 0. Now, that looks easier to deal with. Divide both sides by 5. Let's get rid of that 5 out front. And we have a 2n squared minus 13n minus 7, and 0 divided by 5 is 0. So now we have to factor this. A little tricky. Our a value is 2, and our c value is a negative 7. So two numbers that multiply to be 2 are just, well, 1 and 2. Two numbers that multiply to be 7, let's deal with positive 7, is just 1 and 7. But we know that our b value is negative and our c value is negative. So what does that mean is that, well, one of these numbers will have to be negative. Okay? So with it being one of them being negative, we have to think, okay, 2 times one of these numbers plus 1 times the other number, which one gives us a negative 13? And that's actually going to be when the 7 is negative. So we take 2 times a negative 7, and that's equal to a, well, negative 14. 1 times a 1 is a positive 1. We add them together, and we got our negative 13. So let's make sure we keep this together. We have a 2n here, and an n when we factor it. 2n gets multiplied by the negative 7, so it has to go on this side. 1 gets multiplied by the 1, so we put a plus 1 here. Now we can solve, oh, why not it equal to 1? <laughs> if you saw that mistake, let me know. I want it equal to 0. All right. So now I take each part individually and solve it and set it equal to 0. So we take 2n plus 1 equal to 0 and n minus 7 equal to 0. Subtract a 1 of both sides, and 2n equals a negative 1. Divide both sides by 2, and n equals a negative 1 half. Add a 7 to both sides, and n equals positive 7. So let's go write this as a single statement. n equals a negative 1 half, and n equals 7, and that's it. That is our final answer. I hope this video is helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.